Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing full review of these PayU Sports Wireless Speaker Waterproof IPX7. So here we have the packaging. IPX7, as you can see, here's some information, uh, technical specification, wireless, I think, Bluetooth 5.0, charging time 2 hours and play time up to 8 hours has a suction cup and it cost only 16 or 17 dollars at the moment comes in three different colors on Amazon so let's see how it looks and if it really works I think it comes like this so it has all the needed buttons I mean the essential buttons basically uh, yeah it has on off it has volume up volume uh, volume up volume down and you can even use it to make phone calls it has a microphone maybe that's the opening here and here's a, a phone sign so I guess you can uh, take phone calls and hang up so that's really convenient really large suction cup I mean no fancy one which has like uh, additional flaps and so but but it's it's a nice one I think and seems to be quite protected I mean that's not really super soft rubber uh, protection but it looks like it's a decent quality and here it has, has even something I mean you can either use a second suction cup and then put something here to secure it that it doesn't fall down but I think it should be uh, I think it should have a decent protection also against uh, falling down so let's try uh, this opening so yeah it's a little bit dark in here but looks like micro USB I mean the cable what you get also micro USB so here you can close that nicely yeah uh, just make sure yeah, when you're not charging that it's uh, nicely closed so no water can come in so it's on the side yeah this is not bad I think side is always good so I think that's the top and that's the bottom so the charging is on the side so suction uh, yeah looks like really decent so yeah when you want to lift it you have to push on the knees from the side yeah it's even difficult so it looks like this suction cup really really works good I mean of course depends on the tiles what you have in the shower you have to have something really flat I mean glass or really flat tile if you have something uh, with some kind of structure it won't work but maybe you have a part with glass or maybe a window where you can put it so doesn't look too bad we have even screws here for $16 doesn't look too bad so I'm going to charge it connect it and then play something and then we should be able to see how this works how the quality is here in the back we can see there are the openings for the speaker as far as I can see I don't know what happens uh, when we get water inside I mean yeah it looks like uh, I can see the speaker inside so it seems to be possible that water gets inside quite deep but maybe it's somehow protected inside that it shouldn't uh, take any damage from water I mean IPX7 should be yeah 30 minutes one meter under water that's a lot I mean and these openings here yeah I don't know but uh, yeah I mean you have 30 days to test that if you don't like it or if it doesn't work after a little bit of uh, raindrops or I mean in the shower then you can still return it I have it already connected to charge as you can see there's a light so either it turns off or it turns blue or green when it's fully charged so now it's charging at 0.2 or a little bit below 0.2 amps so when we have to charge 500 milliampere hours yeah it takes almost three hours at this pace I mean here I have a 2 amps outlet but maybe it's just at the beginning but I have it now here for a couple of minutes so I don't expect that it will go up in speed 
so looks like if it's fully empty then you have to expect close to three hours of charge and not only two hours as they say yeah here charging time two to three hours yeah maybe close to three hours i would guess so here on the side i've even found a small instructions manual or operational manual there's not much to say but maybe it helps regarding connection and troubleshooting if it doesn't work right from the beginning I hope you can see that he has probably the most important page it's a little bit mirroring I, uh, I move it a little bit around so hopefully you can see at the end everything if you need that so the speaker is actually fully charged the, the light was turned off but I've just uh, plugged it in again to check how much it has been charging and it's 200 million per hour so it has been charging for a little bit more than uh, an hour and yeah it was almost uh, half full so but it seems to need a while to again f completely turn off yeah it's definitely a cheaper device so if you have something more expensive it would realize sooner that it's uh, totally full you can see it's it's not charging at full speed just very slow so usually such devices would uh, then turn off but it looks like this thing needs a little bit longer but usually it shouldn't be a problem so i'm unplugging this here and trying to connect i've already turned on bluetooth here so we have to push for a couple of seconds here and you can see the blue light and blinking so that means we should be able to connect here we do the refresh usually takes a little bit and we find the bts 300 and yeah we have to allow access to contact and call history because it has this microphone and usually when we have this and can use that to make phone calls usually it's asking for that you can see the battery is 90 percent that's a little bit strange because uh, we know it had really turned off but maybe it was a problem with the power bank so yeah anyway 90 percent is a good value at the moment so i'm going to play some music now for you so okay here i found one of my older videos and you can see it's playing while it's playing it is flashing blue i don't know if we can turn this off i think yeah it's probably not possible regarding the volume we can increase it here of course when we are at maximum we will hear that sound but i have turned it uh, much down here so i can increase that here actually works pretty well as far as I can see yeah the light is a little bit annoying the good thing is when you just touch it uh, nothing will happen I mean it doesn't do anything if you just accidentally touch it a little bit or there's water on it or anything like that so that's definitely positive you can just move it around yeah nothing happens you, you really have to push hard to do anything this is actually as we like it yet yeah, the sound quality is not the greatest I mean there is some bass sound but very limited definitely not much yeah maybe when we have it attached to uh, something yeah maybe a little bit more but definitely not too much i mean this is anyway as expected and the only thing which is left now to test i'm going to test if it's really waterproof but apart from that i would say yeah it is about on a level what you can expect uh yeah this price range
Yeah, almost forgot to make an audio sound test, I mean mi microphone test, because yeah, that's also a really nice feature that we have this microphone. You can put it into shower when you get a phone call, you can even answer phone call. So I've made a phone call, I've been recording it here, and I'm going to play that here. So usually I'm going to add this directly into the video that you have a little bit better quality but since we have a speaker here it's possible or it should be possible to hear for you so i'm going to play that now e 300 audio test one two three four five bt 300 audio test one two three four five yeah, that was definitely not bad. I mean, when you take into account that it has been recording from here to here, it went back to here and then up into the microphone. So what you will hear in reality is probably much better than what you have been hearing now. I mean, at least for me, uh, my impression was really good. I mean, way above what I've been expecting. I mean, I have a lot of experience with earbuds. So even when you buy earbuds for $50, sometimes you get really bad microphones, built-in microphones. And this was not bad at all. This was really, really good. I mean, when you consider the price, so that's a nice feature here. So I put then the speaker into the shower. I mean, actually, when I was using the shower, I didn't have it on this location because there's not much water at this area. So I put it down, really, in the area where the water fully hits and it was absolutely no problem. I was using it for everything, uh, starting, stopping, forward, back, uh, increasing volume and so on and worked really great. After that I was even increasing the level of torture and I held it directly under the tap water, really a lot of water and I used also the buttons and it worked really well. I mean while playing, uh, using buttons, everything, holding it in every direction, let water flow directly on the area where the speaker is, I mean that's almost maximum which you can have except uh, from submerging i didn't have submerging test but a lot of water and you can see it even sticks to uh, like a polished uh, travertine tile that's really good so i've used now this speaker for a pretty long time in the shower i mean it's my weekend session and i've been using it also on the running water directly pushing the button which you usually uh, manufacturers do not recommend even when it's waterproof usually they say okay you can use something under water but don't push any buttons I've been using the buttons I mean it was not submerged but at least it was a, a lot of water running water I had it in the shower on a really uh, low point I mean lower that what than what you have been uh, seeing first on my picture so I had it where the water was almost directly uh, impacting and uh, yeah when you uh, turn it around you can see it is wet where the speaker is it's probably even water inside but looks like the speaker membrane is waterproof and there's probably a split design where you have some electronics uh, really protected from the water and the speaker which is waterproof then uh, not really protected but it's yeah, just waterproof so everything was working really good uh, yeah no problem at all i was really surprised how good this is how sturdy how well this works it was always good connected never had any major drops maybe one or two times a little bit in volume but uh, never got fully disconnected never stopped working and uh, i mean yeah again the microphone is really good i would say yeah as good as it gets for this price and at least at the moment i can give you full recommendation and i will put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description down below so you can check it out order it right from there as long as it's so cheap and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time